Um. <laughs> Rosario, would you go on a second date with Destiny? <laughs> no. Unbelievable. You can't even get like 50% of girls. Yeah, fuck it. All right, let's go. You ready, buddy? Yeah, I guess so. All right, let's see what you got. <laughs> Rosario, what's up? Is that how do you pronounce your name? Rosario. Rosario. Okay. Do you have like an English white person friendly way to pronounce that, or do you give people a different name, or what? What? Do you ever give somebody like a different name, like for white people, or do you just say that and expect them not to fuck it up? I, I don't get it. <laughs> Okay. Sorry. Hold on. You're okay. Um, <laughs> you fuck you, Alex. Um, tell me about yourself. What do you do? Do you go to work or do you school? <laughs> I work. I am 26 and I am a professional dancer. And yeah, I live in Bolivia. I am from Bolivia. Okay. From Bolivia, you're 26 years old. You're a professional dancer. When you say professional dancer, can you go a little bit more into that? What do you mean by that? Uh, I am a teacher, I do shows, and I also go to competitions. Oh, okay. Do you, do, what kind of dance do you do? Like salsa, salsa. dancing or like a, or sorry, what do you say? Yeah, salsa and bachata. Salsa. But I think bachata is my thing more than salsa. Okay, gotcha. I used to do dancing with an ex of mine. Um, we used to go every Fridays and she would teach me. Have you ever taught somebody how to dance before? Uh, yes, some friends. Is it fun or is it normally really annoying? No, it's it's actually something I enjoy. I really enjoy everything that is about dancing or the dance things. So, yeah, it's something I enjoy. Okay, gotcha. Um, do you like to do when you're with like friends or if you're going out with people uh, or like on a date or something? Do you like to dance like on dates or do you like to keep work and like teaching and all of that completely separate from your kind of per like personal life? I know, I mean, I, I like that people is, that is around me enjoy to dance too. Like I can share that with people I care with friends or I, I think it's dancing is something that is really important for me. So I like to share my time with people that also like to dance or to see or anything with dancing. Gotcha. You said you came from Bolivia? Yes. Are you in the United States right now? No, I'm living here. I just went uh, a few times to United States, but for a vacation time. Where did you travel to in the United States? Uh, I was in Miami Beach, um, Orlando, Virginia, Washington, New York, that, just that. What was your favorite place to go in the United States so far? Mm -hmm. Did you like uh, Miami or like the beaches in Miami or I'm guessing if you're from Bolivia, but. I, I really enjoy, <laughs> oh, here we don't have beaches. <laughs> I'm just, I shot in the dark, go ahead. <laughs> Uh, I really well, it's because you don't have beaches. You'd like to experience them in the United States. Obviously, that's what I meant. Uh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> but yeah, I loved uh, the beaches. But I really enjoyed when I was in New York. I mean, I, I really enjoyed to travel too. So I could go anywhere and I will enjoy it. And just to see and visit the, the things that are characteristic from the place that I'm going. Mm -hmm. So for me, it doesn't really matter where I go. I just enjoy the trip. Gotcha. What's one place in the U.S. you've always wanted to go to that you haven't gotten to yet? Um, Los Angeles. Gotcha. What do you want to do in Los Angeles? You like to see unique things from each place. What's like the one or two things you really want to do in L.A.? Uh, actually, I don't know too much about Los Angeles. I mean... I I first I plan the trip and then I I figure out what to do. <laughs> like yeah. I'm start asking and looking what I can do. And but uh, I had a friend that used to live in Chicago, and I'm not sure if it's like that. But uh, she told me that Chicago is like the art a uh, city. Okay. Like, yeah, there's a lot of art in Chicago. 
Uh -huh. So I love art. I love, I don't know, people singing and playing instruments, mm -hmm. instruments and dancing and and acting and I loved all that kind of things. So I would love to, I would love to go to Chicago if it's like that too. Gotcha. Is there um besides like dancing and traveling, are there any other big hobbies you have? Hmm. Like do you, you mentioned I, art, do you like draw or paint or play any instruments or anything like that? Uh I like to paint, but painting is something like it's just a hobby, it's something that I do just at one day per week. Um, but dancing is, dancing is my life and traveling is part, a big part of my life too. Gotcha. Have you traveled to Europe before or only like North and South America? No, only America, but I, I would like to go to everywhere. <laughs> gotcha. So LA first and then someplace in Europe. Um, <laughs> Let's see. But what what do you do? You're asking everything. Well, my <laughs> and we, I don't know you. Yeah, we have totally different lives. I play on fucking computers all day. Uh, I do politics. Um, I like music. I play piano. Um, yeah, my but I live in a I live in a totally different world than you. Uh, I used to live in LA for a while. I know you mentioned art. I think they have the uh, Getty Museum. I think it's in LA. I've been there a couple of times. They've got a lot of really interesting like weird museums in LA too. There's like um. There's a there's a museum for like murdered people. There, there's just like a ton of weird stuff in LA. Yeah, like bodies and brains of like serial killers and stuff. Um, yeah, I don't know. I've been all over the U.S. I've been to Chicago a few times. Um, never been to South America before. Well, kind of. Does um. Wait. Hold on. Oh, sorry. My brain just glitched for a second. Um, oh my god! I forgot the name of the place I've gone to. <laughs> Um, it's, it's, I think it's right to the north of Venezuela. It's a little itty bitty island. Mm, I, <laughs> I think, right? What am I thinking of? Aruba. Yeah. Have you ever been to Aruba before? Uh, have, wait, have you been there before? No, but, uh, my dad was there where, were there once and he told me it's a really nice place to go. Gotcha. Gotcha. Um, how old are you? Uh, 33. Seven years older. Um, whew, man, this is a long five minutes. Uh, let's see. What do you like in... Um, oh, oh, yeah. Jesus, you. bring me back. Hi. I want, I want to give you some extra time. Fuck uh, yeah. All right, so Destiny has officially lost his ED virginity. Rosario, you took, you took his... Uh, oh, my ED God. Virginity. He's been streaming for years, and he's never done this. Uh, okay, I'm gonna, so what I've been doing is I let the girl go first because I want to bias her answers and I get my feedback. So, Rosario, would you go on a second date with Destiny? Um, no. Unbelievable. He, he, ha he, has, he has half a million subscribers on YouTube, if that helps. Oh, I should have flexed that. No, 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 shut up. Uh, okay, so here's my feedback, Destiny. Uh, mm -hmm. First of all, I very much appreciate you coming on. You're not a dating coach, you're not a pickup artist, so... Uh, you know, I don't expect you to have like the best game ever. Uh, okay, so here's what I think you did well. Um, you definitely led the conversation, right? So you were leading the conversation. That's good. The problem is it kind of got into interview mode. It's like, okay, what about this? What about that? Uh, what I generally prefer doing is when I ask a girl a question and then I build on that thread, right? So I like to alternate between questions, statements, jokes, like innuendos, observations, right? So you kind of, I prefer building on that thread. Now, you started off in the beginning with actually a pretty funny joke. Like, I was laughing at that. The problem is when you have, like, a uh, language barrier like this, yeah. you have to really dumb down your humor. Like, you can't go with, like, the more subtle jokes, right? Mm -hmm. So that joke would have worked well if her English was better, right? But that's, like, a kind of a game time decision you have to make when you're talking to a girl who's foreign. It's like, okay, what is her, uh, what is her English ability? And then that's kind of, you know, when to... Uh, uh, you know, dumb down your jokes. Uh, so, for example, when she like, you know, there was a point where her friend came on and uh, her friend was talking to her. Like, I would have just teased her about that. Like, oh, you got a translator just for me? Look at that. Like, you know, so it's just like a lot of little things that you can kind of, uh, you know, kind of like, I don't know, just jump on and just kind of lead with that. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I think the main thing that was missing was that like strong, like man to woman flirty vibe. You know what I mean? For sure. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I think it's a good start to your e-dating career. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, anything else or do I get feedback or what you can yeah um, 
I agree with you about the going down. So when I'm talking to somebody, um, I think penetrating deeper onto a given topic is good. But at some point, what I'm usually looking for is some kind of engagement. And if I'm not getting engagement, I'll usually try to kind of hop to something else. Um, so asking questions about the dancing, I think, is is good. But at some point, like you said, it kind of starts to feel like an interview if the other person isn't like engaging back much. So if there's not much interest, I try to hop to something different. But then it didn't seem like we connected on any topic to where we had like mutual interest. So at that point, yeah, I think we're pretty fucked. Um, I think in terms of, I think something that's really important for me, if I'm going to hit on somebody, um, I, I think picking targets is really important and language barrier plus somebody that is really into like dancing and traveling, I think is a, that's almost always going to be like a massive strikeout. Like if I were to spend my time hitting on girls like that, that are like that all the time, I think I'm going to destroy my self-esteem because there's no way that I'm going to make any progress there. But, um, mm. yeah, I would say definitely, um, yeah. All the, and the language barrier thing is a huge issue too. That's a really mm. rough one. Um, if you're just looking to like flirt or something, that's okay. But I think like my humor is like very dry and kind of subtle and I speak quickly. So it's very, very hard to connect in a humor manner with somebody that's like ESL um, in, in that sense too. So yeah, I, I think I would definitely agree with that when you say, yeah, the humor would probably need to be taken down a lot to where you're kind of like making kind of like just very surface level funny jokes um, and then finding better back and forth in the topic rather than just like doing kind of like an interview style thing, yeah. You want to try something fun? I can take a shot with Rosario. And, yeah, if you want uh, to, yeah, go for it. You can give me your feedback afterwards. Yeah, if you want to, yeah, sure. Let's do it. All right. Uh, I had a fucking long ass day, but let's. Here comes nothing. Since you did Destiny, I'm gonna do it. Okay, All right, go so for I'll it. take you off for like five minutes, and then I'll add you back on. Sure. Can I still see into here? Do I need to open your stream? No, no, you're gonna you're gonna see in here. Yeah. Okay. You're yeah, gonna... gotcha. Go for it. All right. Cool. Hola, chica bonita. Hi. <laughs> So I got some good news. I'm 32 years old, so I'm actually older than you. So we're gonna have to worry about that. Okay, that's great. <laughs> I know. So let me ask you this question. No one's asked you this. What kind of guys do you generally go for? Um, okay. Uh, I like older guys, like mature guys. Like 55, 60 years old or how old? <laughs> you like, like grandpa? I can introduce you to my grandpa. <laughs> No, I'm, I'm no, that's too old. Okay, my dad or? <laughs> no, not your okay. dad. Okay, okay, just me. Okay. Yeah, just you, like you, actually. Just like me, right? Like a yeah. handsome gringo with blue eyes. Yeah. Was a podcast. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, so you, so you like mature guys? What else? Um, I like uh, gentleman guys. You know that are that have details that respect you, that are romantic. I like the, oh, yeah, all, all the school <laughs> guys. <laughs> Is that your translator backstage? Uh, yeah, actually, I have a friend. <laughs> oh, OK. Well, let's see your friend. Tell her, tell her, get on the she, camera. I Here's told it. her she doesn't want to. Oh, she's uh, she's. Uh, and she's she, from Colombia. Chica Tamita. Oh, Colombiana, OK. Yeah. Girls are pretty outgoing. Yeah, no. oh, right. Right. Ah, ah, puppy, puppy. Yeah. No, uh, no, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> All right. So you like you it's like helping me actually. You, okay, well that's good. So you like guys who are mature, who are uh, who respect you. Okay, but what else? I feel like you're leaving out the good stuff. Mm. Like, that's very basic. I let's, I don't know why. Let's get, let's get to the deep stuff. Well, I, I'm not too complicated. It's like... <laughs> You're a simple girl? <laughs> La más loca. No. Okay. I understood that. <laughs> <laughs> I speak a little Spanish. Have you ever been... Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like Mi what? Mi español es uh, muy fuerte. <laughs> really? Mejor. Yeah. I've traveled to Colombia a little bit, so I speak some Spanish. Ay, Colombia es lo máximo. Chica, despacito, gringo español. Colombia es lo máximo. Lo máximo. I don't, I don't know what lo máximo means. Colombia me. is the best. Oh, Colombia is the best? Yeah? But yes. you're, wait, right now you're in Peru. How are you going to say that in front of Rosario? No, no in Bolivia. Bolivia. Oh, Bolivia, that's right. I keep forgetting. <laughs> Same, same thing though. How, how are you going to say that in front of her? She's in. Uh, you're in Bolivia right now. You're insulting her uh, home country. I. But I also love my country. Yeah. Are you guys going to have like a pillow fight after this? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Rosario. So I have a question. Have you ever been with a Russian guy? 
Russian. Russian. Um, Russo. Can, can I mm, I once I dated a Russian guy. Yeah. And and it was good actually. He was a good person. <laughs> you don't you don't sound convinced. You're like he was good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, it was just like two or three dates because he was just here for, for vacation time. Mm. So, yeah, I didn't know him like good, but he he was good on dates. He was good? <laughs> what did he do? Did he make you some borscht or? <laughs> <laughs> no, but he was... He was a good was... Russian? No, but he was like... Uh, so I don't know what, what to explain, you know, here, I had like really bad experiences with dates, like, uh -oh. so when I have a good date, it's a really good thing for me. Mm. Okay, so when, when I come to uh, Bolivia, see, Bolivia, not Peru, uh, we're going to have to go on Finally. four dates. So there we go. You went on three dates with the other Russia, we're going to go on four dates with me. Okay. Yeah. Maybe, <laughs> maybe five, I don't know. I dare you. You dare me. You dare me to come to uh, to uh, Bolivia and seduce you? <laughs> to Colombia, <laughs> to Bolivia. Yeah, I'll go, I'll go to Colombia first. I'll hang out with your friend for a little bit, and then I'll come down to uh, Bolivia. I'll hang out with you, and then I'm gonna decide which one of you guys I like more. You know, I'll make the. I know Colombia is best. <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! Okay, okay. I don't. I don't know. Okay. She that. seems very, that. That's not true. She seems very confident. Civilian. <laughs> But I have no idea what she looks like, so I don't know. Maybe she's like a chica gordita. I don't know. Can you get what? <laughs> no, no, I'm not kidding. Please repeat that. I'm just, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm sure. I'm sure you're a hot Colombian girl. Yes, yeah, yeah, she is. I, I can tell by the voice. You got the hot girl voice. Next time, I maybe I enjoy with. She my can friend. join you. Oh. So it'll be me, you, and your friend, like three of us? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it, it would be fun, yeah. yeah I, think that, I think that would be fun too, the three of us doing God knows what, sure. God knows where. Yeah. Why yeah. not? I like, I like the sound of that. What, what, country, <laughs> what country are we going to do this in? Are we going to do this in America, Colombia, or Bolivia? <laughs> Uh, no, you have to take us to Miami. Yes. Oh, I have to take you to Miami, okay. Yes, if you, if you want to date with both of us, you have to take us to Miami. What if I take you to uh, Russia? <laughs> Why? Why to Russia? We, we, can, we can hang out with my daddy, Putin. <laughs> uh, also... Are you a Russian? Yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah. <laughs> let, now let, everything makes sense. <laughs> that's why. Yeah, that's why I asked you. Have you ever been with a Russian guy? Uh, oh, you thought I was just asking you randomly, like, oh, have you ever been with a Chinese guy? Have you ever been with a Japanese guy? Uh, no, no, no. Yeah. Sí, con razón tiene cara. <laughs> I, I was curious. I've, I was but curious I never before. kissed a Russian. You've never kissed? Oh, so you went on three dates and you didn't kiss? Oh, oh my God. Okay, so it it didn't Are go that well then. Okay. What? It did, so the dates didn't go that well then. If you didn't kiss. Oh, but you don't kiss on the first date or second. No okay. third. <laughs> I, I, I've never kissed a girl my whole life. You do? I've never kissed a girl. No, I don't know what kissing is. Uh, yeah. Come on. Uh, sorry, Virgin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've never, I've never, I've never kissed a girl. I don't know. So. Yes, obviously, obviously. Obviously not. Yeah, like I don't, I don't, even, I don't even know what happens, right? You know, so <laughs> uh, I think it's been about five minutes. I'll bring on Destiny. Uh, all right, yo. Hi, what's up, buddy? What's going on? All right, so let, let's ask Rosario first. And Rosario, answer honestly. You won't hurt my feelings. Uh, would you go on a second date with me? <laughs> yes, yes, I you would. would. Oh, okay. I like it. Time for feedback? Uh, yeah, go for it. Okay. Uh -huh. I wrote a lot of stuff down. Um, yeah. I think that um, one thing that you do really, really, really well is every time you introduce a new topic, you always do it as like half a joke, but it also like gets information too. I think you do a really good job at that. 
Um, so like you joke about like your age and being kind of old and at the same time you kind of like ask questions while joking about them. So you can do like humor and like get information at the same time. I think it's like, I think you do that really well. You've done that with almost every single question that you ask. Um, another thing you do really well is when you ask questions about like, um, you, you ask questions that like almost guarantee that you'll have something to hook onto too. That's like really good. So like when you ask like, what kind of guys do you go for? She kind of gives you some surface level stuff. And then you ask again, like, what do you really go for? You're like inviting her to like answer in a more fun way that gives you the opportunity to like connect and dig on stuff. Um, I think obviously like that's really well. Um, playing with a friend I think is always really well. If you're talking to a girl and her friend is there and all of you are having a good time, she's like, her opinion of you is going up like nine million fold because you're like all laughing and having fun. I, I do like playing with a friend sometimes. Yeah, for sure. Although that's a little <laughs> bit risky because if it's like a really weird jealous girl, you can run into weird shit there. But I don't think you push the line on any of that at all. Um, yeah, I would say that like, yeah, for the most part, I think that most of the way, like joking with like the bad Spanish or whatever is a really funny way to like joke around and everything. Um, yeah, I think, but I mean, obviously you do this professionally, so I'm guessing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I mean, yeah, that's true. I do have a big advantage because I do this like all day, every day. Uh, but yeah, that's like a huge part of my game is just joking around. Uh, mm -hmm. But then while joking, also like having like a fun, lighthearted vibe. Mm -hmm. uh, I usually try to gauge based on the girl's personality how much I can sexualize. So with like Rosario, I probably wouldn't be too sexual right away. Sure. But with like so, some of the other girls I've had on my channel, like I was sexual within like the first two minutes. Mm -hmm. But that's more of like a game time decision I have to make based on like what I think the girl's values are and like her personality. So, I, you know, if I was like too sexual with Rosario right away, like I think that would probably be like uh, a blowout. For sure. Uh, but yeah, 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 cool. Uh, but yeah, man, if you want to chill, I'm going to bring more people on. You can help me analyze their game. I don't know if you're busy with shit. Uh, yeah, we can watch one or two if you want to. Yeah, go for it. All right, cool. Let's do it. All right, let's bring it on. Uh, but I'm going to be very jealous now, Rosario, now that we've had a good day. You know, uh, you, you, you can't say yes to any other guy. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> okay, let's bring on the next person, Brad. Hello, buddy. Hey, how's it going, guys? Pretty good. Your mic is coming in pretty heavy. Oh, is it not good? Uh, I would turn down the gain a little bit. This thing? Yeah, say something. How is it now? Uh, what do you think, best thing? Um, I think it's okay. It's a little shrill, but it, I, it's like the quality of the mic, not the volume, I think. But All right, we'll, we'll make the best of it. So me and Destiny will take ourselves off, and then you got five minutes. So let's see what you got, bro. Hey, how's it going? Hi. It's good to see you again. Oh, it's the second time? Yeah, yeah. That's oh, okay. Uh I'm sorry, I don't remember. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. You've done you've done a lot of these, so it's all right. How are you doing tonight? Good. Fine, fine. And you? I'm doing good. I'm doing. How good. was your day? Uh, it's been good. I just been doing some errands and whatnot. I just made some pasta, so I don't know if you like pasta or not, but I make a really good pasta. So. Yes, I love pasta. Yeah. I didn't get a chance to ask you last time, what's some good uh, Bolivian food that you like? Mm. Traditional food here is, most of the food is spicy. I bet. I wouldn't yeah. be able to handle it. It's like, um, we, we have a sauce that we make here with ají. ¿Cómo se dice ají? Ahi is like um, spicy, like like I don't know how to say, like verdura. Your your, uh, your Colombian friend is helping you remember the Bolivian. No sé yo tampoco. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, my English is not per perfect. <laughs> yes, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. No, we are okay. practicing. I, yeah. <laughs> I have, I have my, you know, I have my German friends, my Polish friends. They help me remember American food all the time. You know, it's normal. <laughs> thing. Yeah. So. You know, <laughs> yeah. So I wanted to tell you, you look uh, really good tonight. Thank you. Thank you. You're really yeah. fine. What I like that I can tell about you is, even though you would look fine, completely natural, you have that. Uh, that femininity that you want to dress up and look good. And I appreciate that in, in a woman, you know what I mean? Well, thank you. That's really kind. Yeah. And I've seen from the other speed dates and everything, you can carry on like a fun, intelligent conversation. So I like that too. When are you coming back to Miami? 
Um, I really want to come back on December because it's my birthday. So I will, I will try. I will try to. I will love are to. You turning, my are birthday you turning? Are you turning? You're turning twenty-seven, right? Uh, I don't know. The twenty twenty-nine. Yeah, but you're turning twenty-seven years old. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm turning. Okay. 27. I don't How know if I you? can. I'm twenty-six, but I don't know if I can date you because oh Leonardo God. DiCaprio is my role model. So. <laughs> <laughs> did you Did you hear about this? Do you know like what I'm referring to? I I can hear you like. Yeah. Ah. Uh, okay. Well, it's, it's not important, but what's important is you're coming to Miami in December. And I also have a trip to Miami in December with some friends. So we can definitely meet up. I'm assuming you're going to be with your friends. So it'd be a lot of fun. We can like maybe have a night where we combine our social circles and hang out and everything. And then, yeah, we could do something. Miami South beach is a pretty good spot. So yeah, it's a really fun place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How many times have you been to Miami? Uh, just two. Okay. Two times. All mm -hmm. right. Uh, I didn't know you were going to come visit me in Miami, Brad. It would be nice if you give me a heads up that you're going to come stay at my place. Dude, I, <laughs> I saw your uh, fan meetup you did in Miami once, and I thought that was pretty fucking dope. Wait, yeah. I forget. Do you live in Miami? Yeah, dude. Oh, we should do stuff sometime. Yeah, you know, remember remember after our first debate when I was like, yo, man, we got a group, good group of guys who like to go out and pick up chicks, and you were like, oh, man, yeah, but I like to just play video games. Yeah, I can't do that thing, but if you want to go out to eat, we can do that. Okay, sorry, I yeah, we're, go ahead. Alex, no, we can I'm, do that. I'm, just, I'm just curious real quick, how many guys showed up to your uh, Miami meetup? It looked pretty fun. Uh, 40 or 50, I don't know. That's dope, I'm, man. I'm not a big time of, like Destiny yet, but, you know, one day, goals. Uh, okay, Rosario, would you go on a second date with Brad? <laughs> um yes but in, in a friend mm. friendly way yes i understand you'll comprehend though you'll comprehend though uh okay Destiny, <laughs> you want to give feedback first or should i go um i'll just say one thing um i think especially with new people um i feel like uh keeping things like humorous is probably the most important part because it makes everything lighter and easier rather than like feeling like very much like, um, like I'm trying to think of a nicer way than saying like sociopathic. Like it feels like it can feel really intense for a first meeting if there's kind of like, if it seems like everything's kind of serious. But um, I think you tried a few jokes that probably would have landed better if it wasn't for the ESL thing. Like maybe the Leonardo DiCaprio thing goes better, yeah, but it's a yeah, lot it harder like, for them. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I, would, I have that written down. That's a joke that only Americans would get. Like yeah. no one like outside of America understands. I thought that joke was funny, but again, yeah, to, to, I understand be, the context. Mm -hmm. to be fair, this was probably not the best strategic move, but I did that joke more for the audience. I knew it was going to go over her head, but <laughs> okay. I just I just thought it was funny for the audience. So, yeah. All right. A man of the people. Uh, okay, Destiny, keep going. Um, I'll just say that for now, Go. You can do your thing. Uh, yeah, I think the big issue is it was just like too logical and serious. Like it just it, also you kind of have a very intense vibe. Uh, I don't know if it's like your body language or your eye contact, but it's a very intense vibe. And uh, you got to soften that and you can soften that through humor, through uh, maybe like through smiling more, uh, through cracking a joke, through some self-deprecation. But you do got to soften the vibe. You want that right combination of like intensity, but also like softness and comfort, right? It's like, oh, this guy can fuck the shit out of me, but also at the same time, he's not a threat, right? It's kind of like you're trying to counterbalance those two things. You're not trying to be like a jester and just like crack jokes left and right, but you also want it. You don't want her to think that you're maybe like, I don't know, a safety risk, uh, which I'm not saying you are. I'm just saying like that's what girls will think if the vibe is like too serious or intense. Uh, yeah, I can understand that. Do you think it was better than last time or, or no? I honestly don't remember, dude, because I just do so many of these. So, oh, yeah. Well, yeah, there's a lot of them, yeah. yeah. No, that's good feedback. I, I, uh, I'm going to work on that because I am very intense by nature. Like, I'm very, like, get from point A to point B, so I could soften that. I could see that. Yeah, I would also throw in some Rogaine for the beard and kind of grow it out more equally. I had that issue, too, like a few years ago. My, my beard was coming in patchy. But, yeah, Derma Rolling and Rogaine will solve that. Okay. Yeah. Um, sure. So this is like, do you drink or anything? Sometimes. 
So, something that like works for women do this a lot, um, and it probably helps for men too. I, I feel like if you had like one drink, I feel like you might loosen up a ton. Um, not that you're like nervous or anything, but kind of like what Alex no, said. I, like, I, I for sure would, mm-hmm. but then you, you don't necessarily want to go. You don't necessarily want to depend on that. You know what I mean? Uh, I prefer, well, I prefer okay. kava. I'm per- a big advocate of kava. Yeah, well, yeah. sure. Uh, but something to yeah, because I, I think like I said, it he really he gave like the other. It was like the other side of essentially what I was commenting on for like the humor thing. Your um, your disposition is very intense. It's very 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 like, yeah, very intense. And yeah, you felt that like, too, right? Chill that a little bit, then I think you probably do a lot better. Yeah. So is it is it my eye, eye contact or just like my vibe in general that's intense? Just the vibe in general. It's very intense. Yeah. I think also in terms of speaking, and I maybe I, I might be making this up. I could be wrong, but I'm like. Um, this gets into weird shit. I don't. Well, never mind. I don't know. Okay, never mind. Go ahead. You can bring it up. What is it? Um, I don't. I don't know if it's that relevant or not. Um, when I think of people that are really good at like kind of controlling the flow of a conversation and everything, um, and people that can be humorous and like do like a lot of moods and stuff, um, having a lot of like dynamic range to kind of like your voice, I think can mm. help you like bring things yes. in and out a little bit. Yeah. Rather than kind of having this absolutely focused thing where you're kind of like on one line of dialogue yes. the entire time and you're talking like this, being able to kind of like go up and down and like chill and yes. pause and move faster. Like I think that can kind of like help to flesh out more of like the emotional tone of the 100%, conversation. hundred percent. Yeah. hundred percent agree with that. Yep. Like yeah. you, you I, don't want your voice to be like very monotone the whole time when you're talking very intensely and then like blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. You want it to be a little bit of ups and downs. Sometimes you get a little intense with it, and sometimes they're a little lighthearted, right? Mm-hmm. You want to you want to have those like fluctuations in your voice. So yeah, yeah, yeah. 100% doing that. Uh, okay. Cool. Awesome. Thank you, Brad. Appreciate you. Hey, thank you guys. Appreciate the feedback. For sure, dude. All right. See, this shit is pretty fun, right? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> You're like motherfucker. I want to be debating somebody right now. All right, we got <laughs> SGS. Hey, good night, everyone. Good night, buddy. Hi. Are you ready to uh, seduce Rosario, my Let's girlfriend, my wife, mother of my children? <laughs> oh, good. I can be the fool. You boy. wish. <laughs> you wish, Rosario. You wish. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to take myself off and destiny. Gonna... Hola, Rosario. ¿Cómo estás? Hola. Qué lindo. ¿Qué habl- ¿Hablas español? Sí, sí. ¿Tú de dónde eres? De Bolivia, ¿verdad? Sí. ¿Tú? Adivina, adivina. Mexicano, <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, your friend kind of helped you, so that was kind of cheating. Yeah. It is the Mexico? Yeah, yeah, I was, well, I was born there, and I left there when I was 11, and then I've been, I was in Florida for like half my life. Actually, went to Miami a couple of times, and yeah, I mean, I still keep my Spanish up to speed. Yeah, great. Where do you live now? Right now, I'm, I'm living out of Dallas, though I do go to Florida a lot. So well, you mentioned that you were going to, you said Miami in December, right? Yeah, Imagine I mean, second. it's it's my plan, and I I hope I can do it. That'd be fun. I mean, I could use some bachata lessons. I used to actually do some of that back in the day for like level one stuff, but then I kind of lost track of it. So. Could use a teacher for some of that. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> Be fun. How old are you? Uh, how old do you think I am? <laughs> Something important for me. Um, twenty-seven. Actually, I'm twenty-seven exactly. So like a year older than you. Mm-hmm. But no, it's, it's fun. And I'm curious, what got you into dancing? Was it one of those things that you were really passionate about as a kid, or did you just kind of fall into it randomly? No, I think it was something I just, when I started, I felt that it was my thing. It was since, I, I can remember the first day I went to a dance class. So, yeah, I, I don't know. It's something that it was in me. I see what you mean. You tried it out one day, you fell in love with it, then one day you decided, I want to be the next Shakira. And- <laughs> <laughs> At least dancing. <laughs> I mean, you can, I mean, and I, I will definitely support you in that goal. I mean, you can teach me some of that. I'll support you along the way. When you make it big, you can buy me watches and cars. We'll make it work. <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, what, what do you like to do? So I definitely like to travel. That was actually another thing that I found cool. I definitely like to travel and meet different 
people because I, I don't know if you ran into this situation where a lot of my friends kind of went out to different parts of the world. So it's one of those things where I'll make it into a sort of an adventure. Like one of my friends went to New York. So in October, I'm just going to be spending the weekend there for Halloween, having a good time. So I kind of have my list of, okay, this friend is over here. I want to go there this time, stuff like that, uh, work out. I, I want to get back into dancing at some point though. It was super fun. What about you? ¿Cuál era la pregunta? Huh? No, like, uh, <laughs> Sorry, what was your no, question? Focus. Uh, no, just what do you like to do for fun outside of trying to ah. be fun at Shakira okay. so you can buy me stuff? <laughs> Shakira, I'm sorry. Uh, I like to work out. I like um, to hang out with my friends. And I think that's it. I mean, I do also, I work for um, like... Uh, for a clinic, an hospital, for a clinic, for a clinic. Sí, sí. Ahí soy igual asistente administrativa. Entonces, yeah, that's basically my life. I work as a dancer, as a uh, assistant, and hang out with my friends, work out. I have a routine every day. So. That's fun. So it's one of those things where maybe one day you're going to have to escape your work to have a little concert out in the middle of Bolivia and then come back to work the next day when you become a big dancer. Mm. <laughs> sí. <laughs> sorry. My friend is distracting me. No. <laughs> yes. Come on, stop distracting me. Sorry. Focus. But no. This no, is a it's lie. Funny. <laughs> <laughs> I got to ask you, is it true what they say about Bolivian girls? What? I don't know if it's true. Is it true what they say about Bolivian girls? What do they say? So they say that they're the most partying girls out there because when I was doing a trip and I met a lot of people from Colombia and you know I had a blast partying with them and they were like, nah, man, this Bolivia girl. All right. Uh, all right, Rosario, would you go on a second date with SGS? Um... I'll come. <laughs> She's loyal to me, boys. No, I'm just kidding. Right. <laughs> you wish again. <laughs> Which, I'm, I'm doing a lot of wishing recently. Uh, Destiny, do you want to go first, or should I? Um, you do you want you can go first this time, since I went last time. Okay. Uh, so I think you start off good by breaking the ice with Spanish. Uh, that was a good move, right? So whenever I need to break the ice and I speak a little bit of the other girl's language, I will start off with that too. Uh, it did feel like you were nervous. Uh, at times, I could pick up on it, and if I could pick up on it, the girl can pick up on it. There's not much you can do about that besides practice, practice, practice. Yeah. Uh, it did feel like also you ran out of things to uh, say at some point. I was telling the previous guy that his vibe was too intense. With you, I felt like it was the opposite. It was not intense enough. It was a little too like, too light, right? You need to add sometimes a little more intensity to it, right? A little bit more of that yeah, uh, yeah type of energy. Uh, the Shakira joke was good. You know, she was laughing at that. Uh, some of your jokes did go over her head. Uh, so, yeah, that's kind of like my feedback, I would say, overall. Kind of like the DiCaprio thing you made that sample for in the U.S. it may have hit, but not in this scenario. Yeah, exactly. That makes sense. You got to, yeah, you always got to, like, make your jokes more basic when there's a language barrier. Uh, no complex setups or anything. <clears throat> Do, um... I don't know if this is considered rude or not for people that are bilingual or whatever, but if there's ever a time where she's not understanding and she starts speaking to a friend, you did this one time. Um, yeah, why not just like speak Spanish to her so she doesn't have to go to a translator, but you can communicate more. Oh, because that would totally destroy the stream because 95% of oh, yeah. people don't speak Spanish. Okay, so gotcha, gotcha. To stop, yeah. That's why I kind of tried to shift it back into like 15, 20 seconds. I, I appreciate that. I was getting really close to jumping on. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Um, yeah, I don't know. I felt like you're... I, um, yeah. Listen, if I was Rosario, I would have said yes to you. Um, I felt like you were humorous most of the time. Um, you connected with her on the traveling stuff and the dancing stuff, which I thought was really good. Um, it seemed like you're friendly. It seems like she's a little distracted by her friend right now. I don't know why. Um, but, um, yeah. Uh, um, <laughs> I, I don't know. It seemed like, he's getting fucking feisty. Well, I, yeah, I don't know. It seemed like he was trying pretty hard. Um, she said he, was, he looked <laughs> handsome in the beginning. I thought that was nice. She likes the way you look. Like, you're, um, que lindo. Yeah, it seems like you're doing, uh, yeah, I don't know. It felt like you were doing pretty good. Oh, the one question you asked, it seems a little bit dicey was the, um, especially if, I don't know if we're using meta knowledge, but when she, um, 
when she says that she's like a very good girl doesn't even kiss on three dates that one question of like is it true what i hear about xyz girls i might be the odd one out but if i'm ever asking a question like that that is always like a hardcore sexual question if i'm asking that that's like a big like is it true what they say about whatever girls um mm -hmm. i got a little bit scared for you on that one but it seemed like that went over okay but um otherwise i don't know i thought i thought you did I think you did okay, other than maybe being like a little bit nervous, but like I think that like communicating on camera and then her not understanding as much all kind of like plays into that a bit. I mean, yeah, sense. I do think that you could benefit from like adding more like of that man to woman type of feeling to your vibe, like basically doing a little bit more with the previous guy had. So the other guy was way too intense, right? That, that was like, you don't want to be that intense, but you were like, I think too light. I think somewhere in the middle is where the magic zone is kind of when you see me interact with girls. I'm not saying I'm like perfect or something like that, but you see my vibe has some intensity to it, but you wouldn't say it's like, whoa, like this guy's scary me. It's more like I kind of balance the intensity with humor. So that's kind of, I think you need to find that like sweet middle ground. Yeah, one last question. I don't know if you struggle with that because I know Russian was your first language. One thing I run into sometimes is I have to enunciate so my accent is not super thick. And with that, sometimes my voice comes across a bit nasally instead of that dominant booming voice that you need. I don't know if you have a workaround that you, has worked for you since English is your second language too. Yeah, it's just different because I moved to America when I was seven. So like I was speaking English fluently by the time I was like 10, you know what I mean? So like I, I like nowadays, I'm definitely better in English than Russian. Like I, I think in English, I sleep in English. Uh, so I, I mean, I dream in English. So you probably moved here a lot later, I'm assuming, right? Yeah, 11. Dude, sometimes those four years can make a big difference. Um, your English is fine. Like, I have no problem understanding you. I don't think the issue is your um, English. I think the issue is more maybe when, when typically when you get nervous, your voice becomes higher. That's just typically what happens. Yeah. Uh, so just being more calm and grounded, maybe doing some meditation, stuff like that, that can like lower your voice significantly. Like your voice will heavily uh, alter it based on your confidence. If you're really nervous, even with me, sometimes it doesn't happen often when I'm nervous, my voice becomes a little bit more high pitched. Right. When I'm, when I'm like really confident and my voice is just like very solid and grounded. Right. Uh, but you need to be able to like kind of take control of that. Uh, your voice is somewhat within your control. Uh, and uh, so, yeah. I, so I don't think I would, wouldn't attribute it to like a language thing. I would attribute it more to an anxiety thing, in my opinion. Cool. Cool. All right, awesome. thanks, Thank you, man. For sure. Yo, Destiny, I'm debating uh, Jesse Lee Peterson tomorrow. Good luck on that one, dude. Oh, I, saw, I don't know if you've. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. No, I saw. I saw. I was doing some research. And I saw the stream you do with him, mm -hmm. and uh, he was a fucking dick to you, bro. I mean, he's like a crazy conservative guy, but he's. You just can't take him too seriously. He's a funny dude. <laughs> but when when I was on his channel, I was prepared for that. But he was like way different to me than he was towards you. Uh, I don't remember the context. I mean, sometimes after we kind of had an understanding of each other, our communication is kind of funny. The first one was a little roughish as we were trying to figure each other out. But I again, I just as long as you don't take him too seriously, he's pretty funny. Oh, no, I'm looking forward to just destroying his uh, arguments. I'm getting prepped for it. Gotcha. Uh, Have you, do you ever recommend um, people taking singing classes? No. Gotcha. What would be the, what would be the logic? <clears throat> um, there's a lot of concepts that you learn as a singer that probably can help you um, if you feel like you have trouble with your voice while you're talking to people. Like things that you learn as a singer is you have to be calm, you have to have like good posture, you're projecting your voice. There's a lot of things that happen when you get nervous and you start to kind of hunch over more and your voice kind of gets more into your head and you get blah, 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 blah. There's a lot of like principles of singing. And, I, and when I say learn, I mean like take a month class. You can learn in terms of like projecting your voice and everything that would probably carry over to people that feel like they're getting really hunched and are getting really nervous and are cutting off their voice a lot. I don't know. I was curious if any like red pillars ever recommended like do like a two week like singing class just to get used to like projecting your voice more. That's like a thing that people worry about. No, it seems interesting. The one thing I always recommend is for people to do sales. I think uh, mm -hmm. for me doing sales for five years made my game like so much better. Mm -hmm. uh, there's nothing like doing sales to like take you outside your comfort zone. For sure. So that's, that's a big recommendation, but I just have no experience with singing. Uh, but yeah, I'm not actually really a red pillar, by the way. Oh, okay. Uh, my bad. Whatever, whatever pill you're selling either. people. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, no, that's, a, that's an interesting suggestion though. I guess I can kind of see how that would work out. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, uh, you're, it's just like a different way of attacking the problem. I always say the best way to like get good at something is by focusing on that specific thing sure. instead of like, you know, like going down the, like, I don't know, going more broadly. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, uh, you want to stay on for a few more? Yeah, sure, Dragon. Another one, why not? Okay, thank 
All right, cool. Let me bring on the next person. All right, Chris. Hello, buddy. Uh, hey, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Okay. Right, cool. Dude, I just realized uh, Destiny has like a 7 million viewers, so <laughs> fuck me. Oh, you're good. Yeah, yo, there's only one viewer you need to worry about in this conversation, okay? And that's, oh, okay. that's Rosario's friend, okay? Because she's the only one paying attention to this conversation, all right? <laughs> Okay. Wait, Alex, if you're talking, you're muted, but you're still I was, muted. I was, I was saying that's my dog, oh. but yeah. Okay, so we're, me and Destiny will take ourselves off for five minutes. Let's see what you got, Chris. Okay, what up? How are you? Hi, fine, and you? Perfect. Uh, wait, how old are you? 26. Nice. And you? I am into older women. Do you like younger men? What? Do you like younger men? Uh, not actually. How old are you? No? What? what do you <laughs> but think? we can be friends. <laughs> okay, what's your guess? How old am I? Uh, maybe you're 21. Maybe. Why don't you like younger men? <laughs> you're 21. <laughs> what's your type? Mm, I like. Yeah, guess, uh, strong, masculine man. <laughs> yeah. You don't like uh, young e boys. <laughs> no, I. Why not? I don't like I like dating with young guys actually. Mm -hmm. Okay, why not? I don't know. I I I never tried actually. I think just once, and it was like boring. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What was boring about it? I don't know. I think they are like childish. Como infantiles. Childish. Childish. Maybe he was just the right fit for you. Like immature. They they just think about party and game, play games, like video games and that kind of things. That is not something that interests me. Okay, so. I can promise you I don't play video games. <laughs> You don't like video games? And what do you like to do? No, I don't. Um, I like to read and write a lot. I play piano. I go to university. I study philosophy. So, yeah, I think you just picked the wrong guy. Maybe, Maybe I'm the guy for you. <laughs> yeah, no. So, uh, what do you do? What's your job? Um, I am a professional dancer and also I am assistant. Okay, when you say professional dancer, what does it mean? Are you a stripper? Uh, I am a teacher, I do shows and I go to competitions too. Yeah. Okay, okay. I, I practice five days uh, per week, mm -hmm. like two hours and three hours per day. So what dancing do you do? Like man to woman? What? What dancing do you do? Uh, salsa and bachata. Okay. Mm. Do you often dance with other men? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, it's a group that we have, but I also mm. dance alone. Okay. So, and do you like to go to parties and the things that people of your age do? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so let's say you and I go to a club. Could you teach me to dance? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Do you think I'll be a good dancer? Are I you a good know. teacher? I am a good teacher. I have uh, sure? very good students, yes. I'm sure. Because mm. I suck at dancing. Hmm? I suck at dancing. I'm very bad. No. But uh, would you like to learn? I would like to learn from you. <laughs> okay. So maybe you could teach me. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, I can. Yeah. I could teach you some other things. All right. <laughs> like what? Oh, holy shit. <laughs> a long five minutes. Where, 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 where's your accent from? Where are you originally from? 
Uh, Germany. Oh, cool. Okay. I like the Germans. Um, you should have talked to her in German. That would have that would have done well. You can been like, I don't know. Not that it was sexy in my opinion. <laughs> that would have been, been hot as fuck, man. Uh, uh, okay, Rosario, would you go on a second date with Chris? <laughs> no. Oh, come on, come on. It's, it's been 80 years since World War II. <laughs> He's not a Nazi. Like, okay, they're, they're, they're different people. Now. You don't know that. They don't do that kind of thing anymore. Come on, come on now. He might uh, become one now. <laughs> what? We might have just created one now. <laughs> uh, no, Chris wouldn't do that. Okay, so, uh, okay, so here's my feedback. It... When you're up, okay, so you are up like about an hour in into the thing. There's advantages and disadvantages to being like up later on in the stream. The the advantage is that, you know, you kind of get to feel out the vibe. You kind of get the girl gets loosed up, right? There's not as much pressure on you because you're not the first person. The disadvantage is all the common questions have already been asked. So literally every single question you asked Rosario, she's already been asked like three times. So you have two choices. One is pay attention to the stream, right? And then you could avoid asking the questions. Or two, if you're busy and you weren't paying attention, you just have to ask her questions that are more unique, right? Uh, but like, for example, the H thing, like I saw what was happening there. I was like, oh, this could be so avoided if you were paying attention because you would know that she doesn't like younger guys. And then you could have just avoided bringing that up, right? Like you kind of walked into that quagmire yourself. So it's either like, either pay attention or- okay, yeah, actually it was on purpose. I kind of uh, wanted to flip it around. Why? So, um, um, uh, I don't know. I did really catch that she uh, was into older guys. It kind of was um, on and off the screen for a bit. So, did you see when um, I was going? Uh, yes. Do you remember when I said in the beginning I got good news? Uh, on too? No, not really. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, yeah. So that's, that's, I think like sometimes it's just like being diligent and paying attention is like very important. It's like the part of game that a lot of guys over miss because it's like the, the boring part. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, like that, that's just kind of like what I think, uh, you know, like that would be my biggest feedback for you. Either pay attention or just go in a more unique direction. But like, I don't care how good your game is. If you're asking her questions that have been asked like five times, you're like, you're, you're not going to be able to recover from that. It's just like, she's like already answered. She's like, Yes, yes. Like, sure, because she, she's been asked this question so many times, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mostly didn't know what to talk about because we basically don't have anything in common. I'm not interested in dancing and not really in traveling. So, well, that's, that's really not true. You, you, can find, you can find something in common with literally any person on the planet. Uh, like, you think I'm into dancing? <laughs> like, dude, like, you can find something in common with anyone. Like, you're, mm -hmm. both, you're both outside of the US. So that's something you can bond over. Right, like she's she's from South America. You're from Europe. Uh, that's that's like uh, that's like something right there. You're both like I guess foreigners in a way. Uh, I'm sure there's plenty more things, but you can actually, if you're creative, you can find something to bond with with any person. I learned that in sales. I used to go into like uh, you know sales meetings with like an 80 year old like old man, right? And like at first I was like, how the fuck am I going to build common ground with this person? But I realized that like there's something out there that I can bond with this person over. And then I, when I realized that, that's when I started being a lot more creative. I was like, okay, well, like this person has grandkids. What are his grandkids into? Oh, his grandkids are into like fucking, I don't know, playing paintball. I used to play paintball when I was younger, right? Like that's that's a commonality that we can build. So uh, if I can build commonality with like an 80 year old man, then you can build commonality with a hot uh, Bolivian girl. I mean, yeah, but that to me, that's beside the point of dating because I don't really have the need to bond over things like that. I mean, in this specific uh, specific situation, sure, but otherwise, it's just not the type of girl I would go for. No offense. Come on, look at look at Rosario. She's a smoke show. She's the type of girl anyone would go for. <laughs> Sorry, no. All right, you're lost, Chris. Uh, okay, cool. Any any thoughts, Destiny? Um, I don't know how you feel about this. We might be in like totally different worlds, so I would always defer to Alex if you're a fan of his and you're on his show or whatever. <laughs> Um, there is a saying that like about being the 10th best poker player in the world. It doesn't mean anything. If you're at a table with the nine best poker players in the world, you're going to lose every time. Um, I personally think that when it comes to like flirting or trying to pick somebody up, I think that picking targets is important. 
Like I'm a five eight dude. I play a lot of video games. Like there are certain girls that will I'll, I'll never get. Or if I'm going to try to, it's going to take an inordinate amount of energy, and it's just not worth it. And if I were to like run in the, into the wall over and over again with girls like that, it's just it's never going to work. Um, so I think that there is some validity to like choosing good targets, like trying to identify: Do I share some set of interests with this person? Like, do I want to like pursue something like this? I think is a good idea rather than like beating yourself up over every single person. Um, it does sound like you and Rosario probably wouldn't get along or, or, or wouldn't be a good match. So I think that's something to keep in mind. But I mean, if you are just in a club and you're like, your goal is to just fuck somebody or just pick something up, um, then I think like what Alex said, it's probably important to try to hone in on like any similarity whatsoever. But um, I think it's too yeah. early to determine whether they would or they might not get along, but I think it's too early. Five minutes is not enough. Uh, sometimes, especially when you first begin interaction, people have their shields up, right? Yeah. I've had situations where I met a girl, uh, like my my first girlfriend ever, actually, uh, we'll call her N. Uh, we had nothing in common on the surface, but after we had sex and our shields were down, we realized we have a lot of like core values in common, but we're like two totally different people. Uh, she was an engineer, I was a business person, she was Persian, I was like Russian, like, but you can sometimes like once your shields go down you realize you have more in common than you thought I, i've learned this with doing debates and i'm sure you can say the same thing destiny like mm -hmm. you start off debating someone who's like you think is a total fucking asshole and then you realize that that person's not that bad and you actually agree on more things than you than you disagree on i've had that happen like, countless times sure yeah, yeah i mean that's definitely case, possible. i've been watching for an hour so um I kind of knew that this wasn't gonna. Uh, I think the I think the double language barrier definitely hurts a little bit here, and then it seems like there's a, a huge difference in personality. But I mean, I mean, yeah, maybe if you want to dig through, like there might be something that you could find. But that's gonna be, um, yeah, that's gonna that's gonna be a lot more effort, maybe. And then if you can handle the rejection, then I guess it's probably worth it to like hit on, on as many targets as possible. But yeah, just yeah, be careful of that or be be cognizant of it. I guess yeah. Yeah. All right. Thanks for coming on, Chris. Appreciate you, bro. Oh, thanks. See, aren't, aren't these fun as fuck? Uh, it's definitely interesting. Rosie, what's so fucking funny over there? <laughs> you, should, you have to share at least That's one joke with us. Hold I on, you guys are joking the entire like time. Guys. Oh, why don't you take younger guys? Because they are like... Say the real reason. We, everyone on here, everybody listening knows the real reason. Say the real reason. <laughs> Wait, what's the real reason? I don't know. <laughs> I just want to... I'm curious what she'll say first. No, they are like stupid. Stupid? <laughs> stupid? Like no, it's like they don't they don't know how to. It was kind of boring, and they they don't have like conversation, and I I just don't like them. I I don't know. I don't like younger guys. Okay, sure. What, what was the reason that you thought I was, was doing obvious? the I was going the black pill route, the not enough money route? <laughs> oh, no, I don't. I don't think it's that. Typically, the reason women don't like younger guys is because they think they're immature. Uh, they they're not dominant enough. They're not confident enough. Like typically, those things with guys come with age. If you look at me when I was like 21 and mm -hmm. me like at 32, I'm way more like confident, dominant, sure of myself now. Uh, yeah, I definitely, I definitely agree with that as like a heuristic. I don't think it's always true, but um, it. I think that if you say so, like uh, if you say to somebody, "I would never date you because you're younger than me," I don't think you're applying that heuristic correctly because you might meet somebody younger than you as a guy that like there are going to be it's rare but there are going to be 24 25 year old guys out there that are like more dominant than the average like 30 35 year old guy they're out there yeah, it's just kind of rare but when you write somebody off immediately because they're too young it makes me makes me think there well see i think rosario would date a younger guy under right circumstances mm -hmm. uh, i've had so many times where i had girls tell me like I would like normally like I would never go for your type and then they wind up hooking up with me mm -hmm. and that can range anything from like uh, me being blonde like oh I like darker guys or uh, me being like kind of like a fuck boy I don't like fuck boys mm -hmm. uh, like any category it's like I've been there I've had chicks who are like we're not gonna get along because I'm really dominant in bed too I'm like all right let's let's hang out and see what happens mm -hmm. and then like we wind up hooking up and like holy shit I had no idea I could be submissive uh, so, I mean, I'm sure you've had similar situations where like the girl says that like, uh, you're not her type, but she winds up hooking up and dating you anyway. Yeah. The, um, so usually what that, how that works is people will say on paper, they have like a type. 
Like they'll be like, oh, I don't like people that do this or I like people that do that. But once you're actually meeting face to face, I never have a good way to describe this beyond chemistry. Like there are just two people can have absolutely fucking nothing in common. And in some cases can even have like really contradictory values, but they just have a ton of chemistry between them. And there are definitely people that I've met where like on paper and even like through text, like we just don't like each other that much. But for whatever reason, when we link up in real life, there's like a lot of chemistry between them. It's like, yeah, this is like really fun and like super cool and everything. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, I've had that happen. Mm-hmm. I've had situations where I was texting their girl and it was like, really like, holy shit, if we meet, this is going to be like very confrontational. But then like within five minutes, we're like, you know, bonding and shit. Yeah. Uh, I do think people put on a front and that front usually drops after sex. So that's why my goal is to have sex with a girl as soon as possible, because that's when we can really start getting to know each other. Because before sex, like everyone's putting on a front, you know, like putting on an act. But after sex, like that front goes away. And that's when the real bonding begins. Uh, and you could say that's because your brain releases oxytocin, uh, maybe because you're not like playing the game anymore, but yeah, that's kind of like my opinion. Gotcha. Rosario, well, what are you la- What are you laughing at? You, you, you... <laughs> my friend is not helping you. <laughs> your Wait, friend is not? what? She's not okay. She, being... she, she's asking. No. <laughs> she's no, asking. <laughs> Why do you talk too much, a lot about sex? Oh, c- oh because I'm a pervert, obviously. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a sex addict. Yes, I, I, I can know that. Yeah. I'm, in, I'm in sex addiction uh, rehab right now. After, after the stream, I'm going to the hospital and they're going to like shock my brain and stuff and try to get me to stop being a sex addict. Thank yes, I, I, you need it. I got you. Well, no, because the real answer is because sex is very important. I think sex is like a crucial part no, of it. Yes, I know. I know very well. Oh, you do? Okay. Okay. This, I, don't I understand you a lot. Uh, Wait, is okay. her friend Rosie? Is your friend more into sex than you are, or what? Who are you? Can you say? Can you be too much? Yes, yes, yeah, she is. Oh, gotcha. Okay, that's why it makes sense. Oh. Well, we should have had her on for that. No, I'm just kidding. Go ahead. <laughs> Bring in the next dude. I, I, th- I think I think Rosario, you know, can can get down with the right guy in the right situation. I don't think Rosario is like. 26 year old virgin esl that's a tough nut to crack that's like a level nine Ros- challenge wait, rosario's not a virgin didn't she say that or am i oh no, she I said don't that. kiss until like the third or fourth date that to me sounds yeah, like but maybe not okay sure yeah but i think she was just teasing that guy though what she, wait didn't she say that to you am i crazy no oh oh yeah she did yeah she did say that wait rosario wait, Ros- are you a virgin <laughs> <It's been cool. laughs> no i'm not there's no way yeah uh, and you don't no kiss way. until the third or fourth date. No. Will you dance with somebody on a second or third date, or like on a first date? Will you go dancing? Yeah, sure. Interesting. Rosario, can can we hold hands on the first date? Just hands. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure. I I have to think a lot. <laughs> just just the pinky. I just want the pinky. <laughs> okay, maybe. <laughs> okay, all, right. all right, we're making progress. All right, let's bring on uh, let's bring on the next person. We got Abby. Uh, yeah. uh, Hello. Hey guys, how are you doing? Good. You you all good, man? Or you need time to set your shit up? He's good. But, yeah, all good. All right. You're not going to the bathroom, are you? Man, you say every time. Why? Well, I don't know. It just blows my mind when guys do these speed dates from the bathroom. Nah. He's, <laughs> he's mobile, dude. He's trying to get some movement going on in the camera. <laughs> all right, all right. No taking a dump during a speed date. All right. Me and Destiny are going to take ourselves off. Uh, let's see what you got, brother. Yeah, get me off. Sure, sure. Hey, Rosario. Hi. Where are you from? Bolivia. Cool. Never been there. I, w- I want to go, like, travel Mexico and all other, like, Hispanic countries. <laughs> what countries do you know? Some Peru, Colombia. Yes. Like, Philippines is also on my list, but it's, like, a little bit different. But it's good. Ah, uh, great. So yeah. you like to travel too? Yeah, I like to travel, yeah. I haven't been here in US right now, but I'm originally from India. I just moved here last year. Boom. And where where do you live? I'm in Alabama, like this is South area. Have you been in US? Yes, I, I've been <laughs> like four times. Oh, really? Cool. <clears throat> Which city? Where where have you been? 
Um, ahí viene Miami, en Orlando, Washington, Virginia, and New York. Miami is pretty good. I was in Miami last month. It's very, it's very good. It's very good. It's lit. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun. It's so fun. Yeah. This was my, like my second time I went to a beach and fucking amazing. Yeah, I love yeah. the beach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Also, have you ever been with an Indian guy? I'm Indian. Yeah, no, I, I've never been there, but I, I would like to know. Well, like, uh, you've never been to India. But have you ever been with an Indian guy, like? No. No, oh, okay. It's your chance now. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's the first time. <laughs> yeah, it was the first time. First time's the charm. Okay. What kind of guys do you like? What? What kind of guys do you like? Um, I, I like like older guys. Okay. I like that uh, taller guys than me. Okay. How tall are you? Hmm? How tall are you? How old? I'm 26. How how tall? Like what's your height? Ah, tall. Oh, yeah. I am. Uh, ¿Cómo se llama? Like one point sixty two meters. I don't know. Meters. I have no idea what's that. Oh, <laughs> I, I can tell you and feel like. I'm, I'm sorry for my English. <laughs> you're, you're good. You're good. You, you don't know English much. I don't know Spanish much. So we'll be like very good together. I think it's like five, five, two cool. feet. Cool. Then you're good. Then you're in good hands. I'm taller than you. <laughs> yeah, that's not a difficult thing. <laughs> yeah. I'm not like tall. Yeah, yeah, that's good. I like small girls. <laughs> okay. Have yeah. you ever dated a Latin girl? I have. I, I was here in US like uh, from for one year I am in US, but last month I was dating a Latina girl. She was pretty fun. They are like fun, adventurous, spontaneous. They try to, they try new different things. Yeah, uh, where she was from? She was from Colombia. Yeah, she was pretty cool. Uh, are you like that, like fun, spontaneous, adventurous? Yes, I am. I think. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I so, like so to have fun. Yeah. So, what's the most like f crazy thing you have done so far in your life? Mm. <clears throat> That's a good question. <clears throat> Not much. <laughs> I, I don't know. I you think. Don't know? I, I don't have like a crazy, crazy experience, I think. No. no. How about you? I have done some things, but like I can tell you. Like, like what? Like, give me an example and maybe. Okay, so I was uh, I was back in India and we went on a spontaneous trip to like uh, Dubai uh, with my few friends, like with my girlfriend too. And we had like a lot of fun time. We were just like sitting at one night together and we just booked tickets for Dubai and we went there the next morning. We stayed there for like whole week. It was pretty fun. Oh yeah, that's great. Yeah, that was fun. But that's was not crazy. That's normal. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm taking it slow right now. Like, I you mean, don't strike, I... like you don't strike me as a crazy type right now. So I am like, I'm, I'm just telling you my oh, crazy examples, which are not like that crazy. Ah, okay, okay. But yeah. give me an example of a crazy thing. I have done something. I'll, I'll tell you, I'll tell you all about it on a romantic date. <laughs> for sure, for sure. And I'll hear about you as well. What have you done? Maybe like being with an Indian guy will be your best experience ever. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah. No, but I mean, I did that a lot of times. Like I travel with friends. All right. Just... We're, we're going to start going in more rapid fire because we have so many people backstage. I don't want this stream to run for like 20 hours. So we're going to go like we're going to do like two or three minutes uh, per person. Uh, Rosario, would you go on a second date with Abby? Mm, no. <laughs> okay. 
All right, no worries. No worries. Uh, Destiny, you want to go first or should I? Um, did you go first last time or did I? I went first last time. Uh, okay. I feel like you actually did pretty decently. At, for some reason, like you, here, this is like a thing that I have in my head. If I've gotten to a point in a date where the girl is starting to ask me questions that she's interested in, I almost consider that like almost done at that point. Like that's a, in my mind, that's a really, really, really good sign for me because it means, because generally like guys are the ones chasing in these types of like interactions. And if the girl is actually like playing back such that she's asking you questions and then like seems interested in your answers, I think you're in a really, really, really good spot. Um, the, some of the jokes kind of work, kind of didn't. I can't, there's the, man, the, I don't know why the fuck Alex said this. The ESL thing is probably playing a lot into it again to where she's not always picking up exactly what's being put down, but I guess maybe that's like part of the challenge. Um, but yeah, I feel like, um, I feel like for the most part, I think you did pretty well. I don't know what Alex will say for critiques. No, I disagree with that. I oh mean, shit, Abby's okay, good, go. Abby's a good guy and I want to say that he did well, but I would be lying to him. Uh, okay, a lot of the feedback I have for you is the same feedback I have for the previous guy. Uh, every question you're asked her, she's been asked like five times already. So, uh, like, again, either you have to pay attention when you're up like late, you either have to pay attention to what's been said earlier or ask very unique questions. But like all the questions you asked or most of them, like she's been asked over and over again. And just imagine from the girl's perspective, just getting asked the same question over and over and over that's like i'm sure for destiny that's like when he gets asked if he's a communist it's like oh my god here we go again or uh or if he's a bot or something like that i don't know whatever you get asked like all the time when you do debates what's something you get asked all the time <laughs> which who are you asking here that i'm asking you oh me I, I i don't know i get asked everything all the time it depends on the setting i'm at people ask me about my streaming stuff people ask me political questions people ask me you remember that time you did that one thing that I, it's like, yeah, like a million times, like, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. uh, when you me, do these days, like, do you, do you kind of have, expect them to kind of like metagame, like riff off of like what the past people said or anything? No, like that? I just, I just, I just, I just think for them, it's better to avoid being repetitive. Uh, cause a lot of them are saying the same exact thing. She's been asked over and over and over again, mm -hmm. and you're not going to get good reactions to that. For me, it's like when people ask me, like when people see me and ask me, Hey, can you review my Tinder profile? Mm -hmm. It's like my initial reaction is to cringe. Mm -hmm. I do it anyway, because I feel like I have an obligation to my fans, but my initial gut reaction is like, here we go again. Sure. Uh, but I do it anyway. But what, the difference is that I'm a content creator and Rosario is, is a girl. Uh, so yeah, so that's the, so it's the first thing. Uh, it definitely got awkward at times. It felt like you ran out of things to say. Uh, I would say also, uh, tell the girl, so she's like, oh, tell me the real crazy things. Like it kind of comes off like you're like backing down when you're like, oh, I'll tell you on our date. It's like, does he really have any crazy things? Like when she's asking you, she's setting you up. Like that's a very good way to make the convo sexual at that point tell her some crazy sexual stories and then maybe she will reciprocate like she's asking you for your craziest experiences like that's the perfect time to make the conversation more sexual right you can't like backtrack on that uh that's like a girl saying oh you know can you kiss me and you're like i'll kiss you later right it's like it's like you're where you want to be you don't want to like go back right like why would you take a step backwards keep going forwards uh so yeah, that's that's my feedback. Yeah, Alex, my my Colombian friend said that she will have a second date with him. <laughs> oh, she would. Okay. Nice. Yeah, she will. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Abby, do you have a passport? You should go to Colombia. <laughs> I think he's not there. No. Oh. Abby's like. Uh, I was not able to hear you guys. Just when you came in, like my audio like got muted and everything. Uh, well, j just listen to the stream later. I gave my feedback, but uh, the good news is the Colombian girl is down to go on a second date with you. <laughs> okay, nice. So you're uh, you're one for two. That's pretty good. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, uh, but cool. All right, thanks for coming on, buddy. Appreciate you. Awesome, awesome. Thanks for having me. Have a good night, guys. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> Yo, Destiny, did you ever see the one where this guy Hormaxer 2 uh, came on and tried to spit game in Rosario? Hormaxer? That, that's his YouTube channel name. Base, okay. Dude, he within the first like two minutes, he told Rosario that she, ha that she has a nice rack. The look on her face was just like... Jeez. <laughs> Do you remember that guy, Rosario? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Uh, no. 
he, he he's like ultra ultra sexual uh but it came off like super cringe i feel like i don't know i feel like sometimes it's good i don't know do you do you believe in filtering at all or do you try to land no. every single person no i think you do have to modify your approach based on the girl yeah i can't run the same type of game i'm gonna run on rosario who's mm -hmm. probably a little bit more conservative latin girl than i would on like a cali girl who's like super like sexually mm -hmm. uh open yeah yeah you do have to modify your approach well I, so when i'm at, so like for me like i'm generally depending on the type of girl i'm talking to i'm like a like especially like i'm i'm fucking married so i'm obviously looking for casual stuff like if i'm flirting with somebody i'll usually turn up like the sexual stuff like pretty early but i view that as like a it's kind of like a filtering mechanism for me like if i kind of do it and, and they're not interested rather than try to like modify it or kind of slow it down i would just be like okay well i filter this person i'm just gonna move on to somebody else rather than trying to like do like a long game kind of approach to it do you ever believe in stuff like that or do you just like you can get everybody you just have to make sure that you're doing the right approach for every person does that make sense no i definitely don't think you can get everybody you can't mm -hmm. even get like 50 percent of girls a lot of yeah. girls are not going to be interested you're not their type mm -hmm. uh they're having a bad day that day uh they have a boyfriend no you you, you definitely can't get even like 50 percent of girls you put you can get maybe like five to ten percent of girls uh so yeah of course there's gonna there's gonna be that's gonna be a factor um i i don't believe in doing the long game i personally never do that i think mm -hmm. it's a waste of time but it just comes down to like how much have i invested so far so if uh i don't know i'm texting a girl and i get the vibe that she's like really conservative and she's like not into like anything sexual yeah i'll just like call it there i'm not gonna try to meet up with her and turn it around yeah. but if i'm already on a date with a girl and I sense the approach is not working, I will modify my approach because already, I'm already like invested in that situation. So it just it just depends on the circumstance. Interesting, okay, gotcha. Because like when I hear Rosie say something like, I don't even kiss on like the third or fourth date, I would be like, go on, there's just no shot at that point. Like I would figure that the modifications to approaches I make at that point, it's gonna be so out of like what I'm normally willing to do for somebody. That, that would be like in my mind, I guess. But I guess if you were like out on a date, maybe you'd, be, you'd change it up a little I bit. I guarantee you for the right guy, she would kiss on the first date. Potentially, yeah. Yeah, there are definitely people like that, but that would, I think you'd, I think I'd, I think I'd have to feel it one out. Like, yeah. Rosario, have you ever kissed a guy on the first date? Be honest. Uh, yes, I did it. Yeah, see, there we go, Destiny. Yeah, they, they definitely can. You'll meet those people on Tinder too that'll say stuff like, I never hook up on the first date. And then you meet them and there's a ton of chemistry and it happens. But um, that you'd have to fill out the chemistry at that point, right? Like if there's a lot of chemistry, I think most people will do almost anything like pretty quickly, at least. In yeah, it's society. like you said, it's, it depends on the chemistry and how the guy makes you feel too. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, w the way I kind of see it, this is like a very pickup type of thing, is that girls classify guys generally into two categories. One is the lover, and the other one is like boyfriend material slash provider. Uh, and so if she classifies you in the first category, then she's, she's, she wants to have fun with you. She thinks you're going to give her like a good time in the bedroom. She'll, she might hook up with you on the first or second night, assuming she feels safe with you. Uh, if she classifies you in the second category, the provider, she's going to play the long game. She's going to hold out. She's going to want you to start dating her before she uh, has sex with you. Right. And for me, it's like, I always want to be in the first category because it's very easy to go from fuck buddy to, uh, to girlfriend but you're not gonna go from girlfriend to fuck buddy, right? You're not gonna go from, you, if, if you wanna be friends with a girl later on, you can very much easily go from fuck buddy to friend, but you can't really go from friend to fuck buddy, right? So I always wanna be put in the first category, and then if I decide I wanna be friends with a girl later on, or you know date her, then I can very easily transition. Interesting. Yeah. Um, all right, let's bring on Vikram. You know, what's up, dude? Hey Alex, how how's it going? Pretty good. Uh, yeah, I did a I did a podcast on Vikram's channel, uh, so check that out, guys. Yo, by the way, Destiny, I think one of the things I respect about you is like you're willing to like collaborate and like have debates with people, irregardless of their clout. And I'm I'm the same way. Mm -hmm. uh, it fucking annoys me how like when I was coming up on YouTube, it used to annoy the shit out of me how like a lot of people just would like <laughs> like fucking like snob their noses at me because I didn't have any subscribers. I think so many YouTubers are like just like obsessed with cloud. So I think like what I try to do is I try to like collaborate with people who are just starting uh, to help them with their channel. I think you're the same way, right? Yeah, generally, yeah. It's kind of funny the people that um, if you do continue to grow, there'll be people that wouldn't work with you before that'll suddenly be a lot warmer to you. <laughs> it happens. That's how that happened, yeah. yeah. A few times. Yeah. 
Uh, all right, Vikram. So um, hopefully that podcast we did on your channel is going to motivate you to bring out your best game. So let's see what you got, brother. I've been learning, man. I'm ready. All right. All right. Cool. I'm going to take uh, myself and Destiny off. Hello, Rosario. Hi. I feel like everyone has been asking you the same questions over and over. So I'm going to ask you something completely different. Okay. Which one is your favorite, dinosaurs or frogs? <laughs> dinosaurs, of course. I hear uh, frogs. Well, <laughs> it's okay. I, I'm a frog guy, you know. I've always been a frog guy, but it's okay, you know. I, I kind of like how I'm... No, I, I'm just kidding, but... Because everyone keeps asking you, oh, do you dance? Oh, are you from Colombia, Bolivia? And, you know, I just wanted to change things up a bit. But... Yeah, how's how's your night going? Uh, it's good. Yeah, it was a good day too. Yeah, um, when when I I was just doing some work and I saw this speed dating thing was going on and I was just listening in. What I really like about you is that you seem to be quite a. You're very clearly passionate about dancing, but everyone just keeps kind of boring you with it, you know. So, I was wondering like. Um, instead of talking about that, let's talk about something else, which would be more about how you speak Spanish and I speak French. I don't speak Spanish, and I think you don't speak French, right? Uh, I just uh, know to say baguette, <laughs> and bonjour, oui, uh, what else? Uh, je t'aime. Oh, that's, a, that's je all you need to know. <laughs> Listen, I barely know you. Let's get to know each other a bit more before we get to that level. <laughs> no, <laughs> that means I love you, sir. Um, uh, are you yeah. from France? Uh, I was born in an island that used to belong to France. So it's a, okay. I'm a francophone. But now I live in Canada, Vancouver. So have you been to Vancouver? No, no, but I, ha I have some friends there that lives there. Mm -hmm. Oh, great. Because um, I've never been to, you said you're from Colombia, right? No, Bolivia. Bolivia, sorry. Sorry, I don't mean to be just like the <laughs> other guy. Don't worry. But, uh, maybe um, it's because I am here with my Colombian friends. So, yeah, we mentioned Colombia a lot today. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry about that. But, yeah, um, maybe we should someday, who knows, right? We could maybe meet up and actually have a, a first date. If if this one goes well, we'll see. But, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, I find Spanish language really seductive, and I know many people find French language seductive. So I could teach you uh, French and you teach me Spanish, and we both could, you know, help each other out and become more more attractive. What do you think? Yeah, sure. Actually, I was thinking about taking French classes because I like to learn new language. Yeah. Uh, when I was in when I was in university, so to make some money on the side, I was teaching like first year French to like I was a tutor. But um, yeah, uh, and I suck at dancing. I know you're a teacher, but I don't. I will not ask you to teach me because you already do enough of that at work, right? Instead, we'll we'll learn different types of dances. You know, I'm sure we'll we'll learn a new thing together. But yeah. Uh, could I, could we follow each other on Instagram? Yeah, sure. Oh, uh, after this is done, just I'll ask Alex and or something, and or you could give. I don't know if you're if you're an Instagram yeah, influencer. Uh, yeah, I am uh, with Rosie uh, slash guión bajo. ¿Cómo es slash? Mm, down slash? Down slash limon. Like okay. my name there in the on the screen. Yeah. I'll I'll find you afterwards. I'll re-listen to it and I'll I'll find you. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, All right. Following each other on Instagram, I guess things are getting pretty serious. <laughs> <laughs> who knows? Who, know, who knows what movie that's from? I have no idea. It's not Night, no Night of the Roxbury. It's a slight variation of uh, what they said there. Uh, okay. So here you. Oh, well, actually, let's ask Rosario. Rosario, would you go on a second date with Vikram? Yes, I mean yes. He was he was kind. He was like he paid attention to what I said. And but you know like in a friendly way. 
okay. Well, yeah, but okay, yes, I'll I, I think we'll hang out with him. Yeah. Okay. What's your feedback, Destiny? Um. I'm too friendly. <laughs> I mean, it seemed like everything was pretty good in terms of humor and everything. Um, the. Um, the the really silly question about the frog and the dinosaur seemed to play like pretty well. Um, <laughs> you know why I asked that, right, Stephen? Yeah, well, you call me Stephen, so yeah, I assume you do know. Yeah, <laughs> um, the French and the baguette joke, or I guess that was kind of her joking. Um, yeah, I mean, it seemed like most of the conversation yeah went pretty well. I think the only the only criticism I would give oh, is English your first language. To me or to French? you? Oh, French. Oh, it is French as your first language. Okay, that's what I thought, because of the heavy accent. Um, yeah, damn, do, doing like the double, triple fucking language shit is really, really hard to make your... But I, I wonder actually, I actually wonder if in some ways that helped you, because you kept like the sentences and everything like really basic. You didn't have trouble like misunderstanding each other or anything. So it was like easy for you guys to kind of like uh, connect and not have any weird jokes fly over each other's head or anything. So yeah, I don't know. Okay, yeah, go for it, Alex. Wait, Vikram, you were the one that introduced me to Destiny, right? Was yeah, that yeah, I think email. Oh shit! All right, thanks, man. That's that's funny. That uh, okay. Uh, so my my feedback is this: It seemed like you were a bit nervous. Um, I could pick up on the nervousness. Uh, and if I can pick up on it, usually the girl can pick up on it. Again, there's like you can't just like turn off the nervousness. Not like you have a switch and be like, nope, let me make myself less nervous. Uh, the really only way to get past that is like practice, practice, practice. Uh, and just like um, progressive desensitization. Uh, Wait, can I ask a question you... on that? I'm super curious. So, so you said that you can feel him being nervous. I can't tell the difference between like, is he nervous or is there like a lot of ESL stuff going on? Because like there are some things where it's like you could be nervous, like your voice is a little bit monotonous, not being very dynamic, like kind of maybe whatever. But like I can't tell like, it, are they nervous or is it just be like you're looking for the words like as English as second language? I can't really, yeah. Here, here's how you would tell. Mm -hmm. There's a concept called up talk and down talk. So uh, down talk is when I'm like, okay, let's say I want to say, hey, Destiny, let's do a collaboration sometime soon, mm -hmm. right? My inflection goes up, right? Sure. I'm confident with myself. Up talk would be like, Destiny, let's do a collaboration sometime soon, right? Yeah, and everything it's is like, like this. And then, okay, sure, gotcha. Okay, interesting. It's, it's, it's like you can tell that I'm not confident in what I'm saying. I don't really believe in it. And I sense there was a good amount of up talk when he was talking. Gotcha. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I was quite nervous. I was trying to use humor to try to hide my nervousness, but it's kind of hard, especially because when I know like, like so many people are watching when I'm speaking, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, yeah, like the, you know, I used to have a lot of anxiety. I, ha I still have general anxiety, like, uh, you know, but it's, it's not like specific to any kind of situation. But for me, with like when I used to be nervous around girls, what really helped was just like doing it over and over and over again. And eventually your brain is like, this is not a big deal. You've done this a hundred times. You've done this a thousand times. Right. And also when you can do. All right. So let's say like going up to a girl and asking her, her phone number makes you nervous. Well, if you go up to a girl and say, hey, do you want to fuck? Like. After, after you do something like that, asking for the number won't make you nervous. I'm not saying you should do that. I'm just saying like, if you go like one or two levels above that, then the thing that made you nervous initially will seem like no big deal. Um, so yeah. Uh, another thing is you did like 70% of the talking. Uh, so I think good game should be like the girl does at least 50% of the talking, if not 60%. Uh, so yeah, like you don't want to like go on a monologue or something like that. Yeah, because uh, I know you said it was like two to three minutes only. So I was trying to go in like kind of speed mode, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, people in the chat are saying ABBA wants to try. Uh, I have to take off pretty soon. If you want to try, yeah, email, you can, but it's harder because you have to like email him the link to this. If you want, though, next time when we set these up, I could definitely have people like him if he's interested in like showing up. I can like send him an invite to stuff like this. But um, Yeah, do you know? That would be dope. Do you want to give me if I just link him this stream yard, will he be able to will he be able to jump on? Yeah. Okay, actually I'm just gonna I'll link it to him then you can. <laughs> All right, cool. Awesome. Thanks, Vikram. Yeah, dude, that would be awesome. I would love to see uh Abbas pit his game. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, funny. Okay. Um it's been fun. Uh send me when let me know when you're gonna do another one of these and we can definitely do more. Uh, it was yeah, dude, for sure, man. I think it's fun. I'll definitely have you on again. Okay. Well, hey, Alex, it's been fun. Um, Rosario, fuck you. And uh, your uh, Colombian friend seems cool, though. Okay, so have fun. I'll see you guys later. Oh, Jesus Christ, Destiny. <laughs> okay. I love you guys. Um, it's late. It's late for me. I can't stream pa an hour past my schedule. Do you know how much stream I've given you guys today? Um, 
What is the link to his stream? Fuck. I don't actually, his last name is so fucking weird. Raid Alex. Somebody link his YouTube channel and I can raid him or whatever. Playing with fire. Oh yeah, true. 